Right, so I have literally just woke up and I didn't do this yesterday, so I'm doing it straight away today and I'm gonna test the camera. So this is a little vlog just to test the video quality and different conditions. So how's about we test it? Making coffee. Yes, yes, let's do that. So when I go in here, it should be pretty dark. So we'll see how it goes from this to light. No, it's not, because it's sunny. Ugh. Now it's bright. The world. The cat test. <whistles> Millie Molly. <whistles> Hello. All right then, oh. oh yeah, so yeah, you can do your hair with this camera, but then it makes it look like I'm looking up, but that's all right. So it is time for a smoothie in the blender and a coffee in the kettle. So this is a close up. If you tap on what you're looking at, the screen is touch sensitive and it auto focuses. So can we auto focus on the blade? Can we focus on the side here? We can. So that's pretty good, that's really quick. Can we focus on the dial? Yeah, so um, that, that's really quick for the autofocus. And then if you flip the screen back up, you can seamlessly go back to using the front-facing camera. So I'm gonna actually make the smoothie, make the coffee and consume both of those things and then we'll go outside and we'll test the camera outside. All right, let's do that. That was supposed to be a buy, but I've had no coffee yet, so clearly my ability to my ability to do that is somewhat flawed this morning, but yeah, I'll be back in a sec once I've had some coffee. All right then, bye. Here's a close-up, and that is the focus. Obviously, I'm holding the camera, so yeah, I don't think it likes that. Let's move a bit back. Do you like it yet? Do you want to focus on it yet? All right then, so the, the focus isn't great at the moment, isn't it? Better now. Yeah. Bit of zoom? No? Well, this is not any zoom. But it is focusing. Anyway, blue eyes. Spinach. Yeah, blueberries and spinach. Mm. It's really crisp. It's the default settings at the moment. I've not changed any of the settings on the camera yet. So this is recording using its own white balance. And it is on autofocus as well. We've got the kale, which has been cooked in the microwave. So again, let's test the focus. Do you want to focus on that? You don't, oh, there you go, it's focused. Um, whenever anyone says, Lee, Lee, I've had some kale in my smoothie. I'm like, yeah, wicked, kale's good for you. Do you cook it first? And they're like, what? I have it raw. And I'm like, what? One sec, got a wet hand. I'm not touching the camera with the wet hand. Yeah, they're like, I have it raw. I'm like, you can't have it raw. That's not good for you. So yeah, cook the kale for one minute and make it, what does it do? It breaks down the things in the kale that your body struggles to break down. So then you get all the goodness without any of the, the struggle that your body faces when you eat raw kale, yeah? So cook that kale, people. Back to the camera test, all right then. The liquid test? Is the liquid test even a thing? Uh -uh. Focus on that liquid. I can't actually hit the touch screen while I'm doing this, so this is just focus on whatever it fancies on. Yeah, that's probably enough sugary juice in my smoothie. Seeds, freestyling the seeds. So, uh, just a few sunflower seeds. Um, oh no, that was a seed disaster. 
really going to take a bit of getting used to holding the camera and putting things in the blender because they went everywhere um, everywhere I put the blender on but it's alright I can I can take care of this there we go crisis um, uh, yeah cri cri crisis averted so that focus focus there you go that is that is quick that is a lot of seeds actually should have used a spoon should have measured them it's alright I'm going to eat them anyway all right, so I've just finished that off with banana, and last but not least, dum da da dum dum dum. There was no way that I could scoop and hold the camera at the same time, so that on the top is avocado. So we have got blueberries, spinach, cooked kale, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, banana, and avocado with some apple juice in the blender. Wow, oh, it's a lot harder to do things with one hand than I first thought. The persevere. Aha. Uh -huh. So, bottoms up, guys. Nom. And that's quite impressive. Smoothie tash as well. Yeah, sure it is. Green tash. Um. All right then, smoothie, mark one. That's gonna be confusing, smoothie. Step one complete, I have got a smoothie. I'm not actually having a coffee for like an hour or something because I need to let the smoothie settle inside us first, so yeah. Wow. It's so green. If anyone started the video at this point and thinks, what the hell is going on? We are testing the camera. And so far, so freaking good. It looks like we're gonna get to do the cat test. Hello, Melly. Hello, Molly. Nope. That was the quickest cat test in history. If I stay very still, I can zoom in. On the feline. That's some decent zoom. That's 11 times zoom. Yeah. First little bit of sunshine that we've had for so long. It's so nice. Um, oh, but I can't see the screen. Right, okay, so this is the outdoorsy test. And let's look at some, let's look at some nature, shall we? Yes, yes. So. The auto focus is pretty rapid. Whoosh. Whoosh. Probably should do um, my special effects in post production, not just make swishing noises. Um, all right then. Yeah, maybe I'll not show you my lawn of shame. It's currently undergoing extensive treatment to try and make the grass grow back. All right, guys. So that um, that pretty much is the camera it's good it definitely it's definitely got a good lens in it um it's got good auto focus maybe yeah, the white balance will be a bit off when i rewatch this footage before i edit it but that can easily be changed and you can also tweak it in post-production so i'm gonna go have that smoothie and then i'm gonna have a coffee <sighs> to wake myself up and then I'll get this edited, uploaded. So if you enjoyed it, if you're thinking about getting this camera, do it, do it, do it. Get this one, because it's got the grip. Um, if you look at my unboxing video, which I'll put here, um, you can see that it's got a nice design, it's got a nice grip, and it's a, it's a good upgrade from the Mark One. So yeah, if you're thinking about getting it, stop thinking, start doing. Let me know what you think of it. Leave a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.